How important is it that the characters in your book be motivated? Pretty darn important. We're going to talk about that coming up. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your old buddy Tim back again to dispense wit, wisdom, and advice on the topic of writing. Becoming a better writer. That's the goal of the program. And how I do that? Well, I basically answer questions submitted by viewers like you. That's right. If you got a question and you're too lazy to go look up the answer, if you can't type Google in a search bar, you just drop it in the comments below and good old Uncle Tim will answer that question for you. And if I do answer your question, uh, I appreciate it. I will send you a free digital copy of one of my books, either Angel of Mercy or Sins of the Father. Just drop that in the comments below. And don't forget, always subscribe to the program. Click the little bell notification icon. Give us a like. And uh, if you click the bell, YouTube, out of the goodness of its heart, will let you know every time I post a new video. You'll never miss this. God forbid you miss this, uh, as I say, because it is... It's an entertainment value. So uh, the question today comes from, who's the question from? Uh, Alice. Hello, Alice. Alice, uh, Tim, how do I, wait a minute, let me read. I, I always jot things down and then I have to read my own writing. Um, how important is motivation to my character? And Alice, I'm going to assume you're referring to a character in your book and not your own character, uh, because motivation is important <laughs> in both of those areas. So um, that is a great question because the characters, typically every great book revolves around a great character, be that a hero, a heroine, a villain, uh, even, uh, you know, uh, locations can be characters, settings can be characters. So it's very important that your characters be motivated. And so I, I jotted down just some thoughts here and I'm going to read them off the page because uh, the old brain ain't what it used to be. So when you're thinking about creating a character or you're putting a character in a story, Alice, the very first thing you want to answer is who, who are they? Who are they? Where did they come from? What's their background? And more importantly, what's their goal as far as this story goes? What's going to motivate your character to, uh, to pry his ass off the couch and to get out the door and take part in the story that you're about to tell, Alice? What is the motivation? Because we're all motivated by goals, all right? Whether, whether it's motivation that's coming uh, from internal or external, uh, your characters are just like real people. There have to be gold. So what is their motivation? What is driving them inwardly or outwardly? You know, if there are uh, uh, circumstances where, let's say, uh, they've, uh, they're have they going on a quest and they may be doing this because in their heart uh, they're looking for a loved one or they've got some emotional attachment, that is inward motivation. Uh, outward motivation would be where someone is either forcing them to go. Perhaps their loved one has been, uh, I don't know, taken by a dragon and being held in a castle. So they're outwardly motivated to go uh, and save them. So these are things you got to know. What is motivating the character from within and from without? Uh, and here's the big question. Why does this motivate them? You know, why do they need or want this particular thing? And what I do, Alice, and I've talked about this on the program before, is when I do a book, I do a character profile for every character where I literally come up with every detail that I can about that character, date of birth, hair color, eye color, weight, everything, you know, profession, background, school, and then there's always motivation. What is it that, that motivates them? Because we are typically motivated out of want or need. I want a brand new Mercedes convertible. Uh, I need reliable transportation. Not nearly as exciting, but two very different things. Your want usually goes beyond your need. And so that's a question you need to ask and answer when it comes to your uh, character. Another thing is, what are the obstacles? What is, excuse me, what is opposing them in their 
quest. And most books are about a quest. It doesn't have to be about, you know, going to save a damsel in distress. It might be a personal quest. It might be reuniting with a loved one. It might be meeting a girl that you want to uh, form a relationship. It might be searching for, uh, you know, the lost Ark of the Covenant. It's always about a quest. The character has to be motivated to go do something. And they're always going to hit obstacles or you're going to have one boring freaking book. What are the obstacles they are going to face? These can be uh, either physical or actual obstacles. For example, um, Indiana Jones trying to go through the Temple of Doom to get that crystal skull. Or it can be an emotional obstacle. It may be an attachment to someone. It may be uh, something in their past that they have to overcome. What are the obstacles, emotional, physical, spiritual, that they have to overcome to get to this end goal? Because that in itself is a motivation. Um, One of the big questions, uh, Alice, is what happens if they don't get it? That's a big motivating factor. Let's say, think about, Alice, the last time that you you really wanted something or you really needed something. Uh, what uh, went through your mind when it came to, uh, what's going to happen if I don't get it? And it depends on your story. It's either going to be, well, I didn't uh, get my the girl that I loved, or it could be the world is going to end. There are different degrees. It could be all of those. Right. But there has to be uh, a a very big repercussion if things don't happen the way the character wants them to happen. What happens if they don't get what they're going after? What happens if they do get it? That's another big thing. What if uh, your character is on a quest? He's motivated uh, by the fact that, uh, you know, if he gets this, this is going to happen. You know, if I find the lost uh, treasure of the Incas, I'm going to be rich and famous. That is a motivating factor, Alice. Uh, And and think about the, you know, we're motivated by love, by greed, by vengeance, by all kinds of stuff. So you've got to know uh, what are the, the repercussions, what happens if they get what they want, what happens if they don't get what they want. And, you know, another thing is who, who is affected either way? Not just your character, but who's affected by his or her actions. If your character is motivated by, uh, you know, they, they want to get this crystal skull so they can be rich and famous, who's affected? Is their spouse involved? Are their children involved? Is there uh, a villain? Is there someone there's opposing? All of those, again, Alice, are motivating factors. And, you know, when you look at what motivates a character, you've got to look at, Uh, the strengths and weaknesses of that character. It's almost like doing what we used to call a SWOT analysis in business, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Uh, What are the strengths of your character that make him think that he can can pull this off? What are the weaknesses that he can, he has to overcome? You know, maybe, uh, maybe he has a fear of heights. And so that's going to be a weakness that's going to affect him climbing that tower to save the damsel. Um, The other thing that is a big motivating factor is how desperate is the situation. You know, if you've got uh, 48 minutes until the world's going to end, that's pretty damn desperate. And you got to hurry up. That's going to be a very big motivating factor. The dilemma must be big enough to motivate the character. The risk and the reward has to be big enough to motivate them. And, you know, again, is the world going to end if they fail or will life just go on? You know, are they just going to go, nah, I tried and move on? If that's the case, it's not going to be a very good story because there's just not enough uh, obstacles, risk and reward for the character, Alice. So, you know, there's one thing, there's a, a wonderful author, uh, I think her name is Gabriella Pereri, uh, and she has what she calls her, when it comes to motivation, it's worst, W-O-R-S-T. The W is, what does the character want? What is it he wants? That's the W. O, what obstacles are in the way? And a lot of this is stuff I've already said, but I didn't break it down to an acronym. Um, R is what is the hero or heroine willing to risk? S is what's at stake. And the T is how does she transform? Meaning if she gets what she wants or she doesn't, what is 
the results. So there you go, Alice. Motivation is a key factor. Motivation equals purpose. And a story without a motivated character is not a story at all. All right. Hey, Alice, appreciate that. That was a long-winded one. <sighs> I'm going to have to go hit my uh, my inhaler here in a minute. So, hey, if you've got a question or a comment, do me a favor. Drop it in the box below. Again, if I use your question or comment like I did, Alice, you will get a free digital copy of one of my books, either Angel of Mercy or uh, Sins of the Father, both that are filled with highly motivated characters. All right. Hey, that's it. Get out there. Make it a good day. Go motivate uh, someone. Go motivate yourself to write motivated characters. Hopefully that will help you become a better writer. All right. Now get it, get motivated. Get out of here. <laughs>